Hi, I'm Peter Fatty. You're talking about training next level pitch recognition. First, we want to consider why you would be interested in doing that. The first reason is increased team offense. Second reason is to give next level skills to some of your top hitters. And the third is to differentiate you as a next level hitting coach. The first thing to look at is what do we mean by pitch recognition? We've seen these kind of breakdowns of what's all involved in hitting. Uh, in, in hitting. And it's, it's really surprised anybody can do it at all, the things that have to happen in less than a, a half a second. And all I've really looked at over the last 20 years of, of research on this is the first third, 175 milliseconds. Now, the question is what can a hitter actually get in that blink of an eye? Well, there's actually quite a bit that can be picked up from the, the, the exertion of the pitcher, the arm angle at release, the immediate uh, ball flight out of, out of the hand. Uh, but it takes training to, to pick those up. So what have people done in the past in the way of technologies to try and train this sort of pitch recognition? Of course, people have put colored dots on, on baseballs and numbers, and there's the 150-mile-per-hour can cannonballs shooting uh, tennis balls with numbers on them uh, that, that uh, we'd heard about. That's Carlos Beltran. There's a pro batter, which basically was a projection, and then the, the ball comes out of like a doggy door behind the screen. It's, it's a... Uh, pitching machine, really, but with a video uh, tie-in, uh, the um, strobe goggles there by, by Synaptic. Um, also things uh, like uh, the V-Flex screen. There's not any reason why technologies have to be just uh, you know plugged in. Uh, we've got visual skills training, which basically is, is standard visual skills, but with a baseball context. We've got little apps like this one that uh, teaches you to recognize spins. Um, we've got uh, eye tracking and object, multiple object tracking, this from the same people that make the strobe glasses. Of course, video games have gotten very realistic, almost to the point where you could train off of them. And virtual reality certainly is where we're going next, and that uh, can be very modest on a cell phone or pretty involved as some of the major league teams are starting to get into where you actually have the cave where you stand in and see a, 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 a pitch coming in. We've got a, a couple of different uh, approaches that in, involve pitch tracking and making the shape of the pitch, actually relying on data from, from pitches thrown in the, in the major league. And we've got the approach that's used with GameSense, which is the video occlusion method, occlusion meaning that you cut something off. This started in Australia in the early 80s as a way for the scientists to study you know, the magic that's happening in this, this moment. Here's what it looked like in my lab in 2000. That's all, yes. Change it. Good. That's all. Now watch. That's all. Split. Oh. A curve. Split. That's all. So we actually see the moment of pitch recognition split. happening there where he sees the split for the first time. It really throws him off, and then he that's locks it, it back yeah. in and really starts uh, calling him with ease. And that's the most that's extreme yes. occlusion where the ball's cut off right out of, the, out of the batter's hand. So, you know, we have then used that to, to um, research pitch recognition in places like that's a, that's a single A, uh, a locker room at the top there, IMG Academy at the lower left, uh, the basement at Orleans in the Cape Cod League uh, on the right. Tested a lot of ball players to try and come up with a, with a, a normed way of, of measuring this skill. And that's what it looks like when the, when the pros get a response from that. And it, it looks like a lot of data. What you're really looking for there is a pitch recognition score where something around 300 is, is, uh, is, is pretty good. They can break a lot out of the other numbers as well. What we're most interested in, though, is how do you turn that science into a training approach? And that's by taking the video occlusion and really putting it you know, on the desktop or the uh, larger monitor or even on the, on the phone. So this is the GameSense app. We see here a user selecting a pitcher, in this case, Brett, the left-handed pitcher, and um, seeing him from a right-handed batter's point of view, seeing about a third of the ball flight. That's that magic one-third 
that uh, that they talk about for for pitch recognition. You see him guessing ball or, or strike and the type of pitch. So there he's clicking on fastball strike. Red means wrong. So that means it was a, he he clicked fastball ball. The answer is fastball strike. Here's a replay of it. Whoop! See a little bit of a tailing action right back over the plate. Pretty nice. So then we're back into guessing. Okay, see a little hump in that. There's the slider for a strike. Good. Now he's going to check the replay here, and that's just to really shape, see the shape of the pitch. Uh, this is a the scouting report. is a, is a almost 50% fastball slider type of guy. Throw the slider in any count. You see the count in the upper right, 01. So he guessed um, slider, but it's actually the fastball ball. Watch that. So that's a that's a really classic combination. You set up the slider, and then you give him the high fastball, you know, eye level on that, and you'll get a swing and a miss. So, you know, you work through this. You can see the, the guy working through it. You get uh, 10 pitches in any kind of drill, and it's a drill and practice methodology where you're trying to, trying to set up a kind of a, a stimulus response. I mean, you see that pitch out of hand, and bang, you know right away what it is, where it's, where it's going to be. And then uh, almost video game style, you get a recommendation whether to go on to a new level. In this case, the uh, points are such that it says try a new drill which could be a different pitcher, or it could be, in this case, trying the um, more advanced level of this same pitcher. So you can see he's going to go down and, and choose this advanced level, and that's going to give you less ball flight. So uh, what seemed pretty easy there now gets a little bit more challenging. Okay, was that the slider? You can see the, the kind of mind <laughs> working there. Um, no, get the uh, replay on that. And... Um, now, he had guessed high fastball, and, and it was the slider. So you can really see uh, how that's working. Okay, that, that came out high. That's that fastball high one. Um, you'll see some of the same pitches. There's about 25 pitches in there, and then they're mixed different every time for a, for a 10-pitch drill. So, uh, you know, we're really trying to get that eye to see that uh, familiarity. Uh, basically, fastball slider again with this guy, and also we have the count up there. It's not a... Uh, it's not pushed in. It's, we're not saying, oh, this, this is what you get in the count, because we don't want to say, oh, you always get that, get that pitch. So in this one, we're really training the hitter to not only recognize pitches, but also to trust the scouting report, you know, that this guy will throw a slider in, in any count. So, you know, the, the, uh, the user then can go through um, different pitchers. That's a flip of the same guy. A variety of different pitchers, about 20 of them in there. And when ready, can compete and go on the leaderboard against his own team or against uh, any of the uh, people who have used the program against this particular pitcher. Now, one of the things that's most valuable for coaches is that you get the data on what a guy did. So here our guy, Connor, this uh, Brett is the fa pitcher he was just facing. So he scored well on the basic. He tried the advanced, scored not as well, tried the advanced again. And you can see the timestamp over on the, on the side. So he's doing this about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, probably in the baseball facility. Uh, then goes on to a, a different pitcher, this Eric. Again, tries a basic. Now, he didn't really get enough to go on to the advanced, but it's not like a video game where you've got to score it. We gave the, give the choice to the, the player, so he's ready to advance, and he does. He does pretty well on the advanced against, against Eric. Next day, he comes in, and he does a whole other set of pitchers. Now, when we really get a lot of success with the pitch recognition program is when it's not just the computer work, the daily computer work, and it's really only about... 10 minutes a day on the computer, but when we're also taking that out into the bullpen. So these are some, some drills that, uh, that use the screen to cut off the pitch, and then a guy makes a read and hits it off the tee. And of course, out in the bullpen, where we've got a very specific way of doing a bullpen pitch recognition drill. Um, here, the guy's calling yes for fastball, no for anything else, and trying to get the call out before it hits the, the, the catcher's mitt. Um, where we really see some success with that, with a three-year implementation with a college team, we see their baseline when uh, over on the right, the difference shows that they actually were below the conference average. And then after uh, the introducing the training, they jumped way up. It was the same hitters returning, and they went from finishing sixth to winning the conference by, by five games. And then they actually improved even further in the next season in fact, over those 2014 and 15 seasons, this particular team 
led all of uh, Division I in offense in runs scored per game. Um, that was the CMO program. We got a lot of uh, attention for that. Uh, here, uh, an article in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, and indeed head coach Steve Beezer uh, was hired then as coach of um, the University of Missouri in the, in the Southeastern Conference. The hitting coach went on to uh, work with the, uh, with the Astros as a hitting coach. For a, a really good background on, on kind of what's involved with this program, you might check this uh, recent article from Sport Techie. Game Sense offers hitters a, a drills to help with pitch recognition. They say in there that it is a basic approach, and that's what it is. This is a training approach. It's not VR. It's not entertaining. It's training. I also love to communicate with coaches about drills that are being done on uh, baseball Twitter, uh, basically uh, finding any uh, stories on the web about guys who are succeeding or not because of pitch recognition issues, pulling out drills that uh, lend themselves well to pitch recognition training. Here, the great uh, former Red Sox and Cardinals hitter Reggie Smith uh, showing how to pick up the ball out of the hand. You know, just really picking stuff up out of there and, 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 and trying to work day in and day out. Well, how do we take this pitch recognition and turn it into something that uh, it isn't just magic that some guys have or that you somehow get with thousands and more thousands of at-bats, but something that you can woodshed and work on just the way you do your swing mechanics. Of course, I always throw this one in here to, to emphasize that you don't need this skill. Not everybody needs this skill to succeed. There's lots of ways to succeed in hitting, but for a lot of hitters, this piece we're talking about, this pitch recognition piece, can be the difference between the level they're on and the level that they're trying to get to. Thanks for your attention, and I do encourage you to check GameSense Sports for the latest in pitch recognition training programs.